When you're in forward flight, air passing through the rear portion of the rotor disc has been accelerated for a longer period of time than that in the front. Therefore, air passing through the rear portion has a higher downwash velocity and therefore a greater induced flow angle than the air passing through the forward portion of the disc. This difference is called transverse flow effect and is the combination of a couple of factors and most pronounced at air speeds of 10 to 20 knots. Let's examine the effect the transverse flow has on the operation of the helicopter. The increased downward flow at the rear of the disc means that the angle of attack at the rear is less. This also means there is less lift generated. The airflow entering the disc at the front is more horizontal because you're in forward flight. There is less induced flow angle, therefore more angle of attack and more lift. Transverse flow effect is responsible for the major portion of the lateral cyclic control required to trim the helicopter at low speed. Because of the unequal drag in the fore and aft portion of the disc, it also creates momentary vibrations that are easily recognized by the pilot as normal.